and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Abzan Knights. That's right, we got a donation deck that we're going to be playing here. This is almost just black-white knights, as you can tell here, but we're splashing a little bit of green in our knights deck to be able to help win some long games and give us a better sideboard, basically. That's what's going on here. So we got, as far as green goes, we have a couple of Golgari Queens in the main deck. And then also by playing green, we can sp splash the second part of find, of find Finality. We can play the Finality part if we need to. But yeah, so we got that. We got Golgari Queen. And then sideboard, we get, you know, Veil of Summer, Assassin's Trophy, Tristani, some pretty good cards there. And then, of course, another Knight, Knight of Autumn, is a green Knight as well. But besides that, we got just aggressive black-white knights. Um, I really like Wintermore Commander. I like how two Wintermore Commanders are just indestructible creatures because one makes the other indestructible and so on. So you could just get indes death touch indestructible attackers. It kind of reminds me of a Danto Vanguard, how it's so hard to block a Danto Vanguard. It's really hard to block when you have uh, two Wintermore Commanders. Um, of course, we also have Midnight Reaper for some extra card advantage. Soren bringing stuff back. Um, and uh, Acclaimed Contender, obviously, extra card advantage there as well. Murderous Riders, a two for one. Knight of the Ebon Legion is one of the best one drops. This deck's just filled with really good cards. And it has Knight Synergies. And this, this deck just looks pretty strong. I like I like uh, what we see, like what we have going on here. What about a Garrick in place of one of the Vraskas? Garrick is really good, um, and we do have 25 lands. I could see playing a Garrick. I could see that being a good card to have for sure. Garrick's really good. Our top end right now, though, is Cavalier of Night. You know, we can sacrifice any one of these creatures, um, especially if we have Midnight Reaper in play. That wouldn't be so bad. It's it's obviously perfect with Worthy Knight. If Worthy Knight can make some tokens, we can sacrifice the token. You know, get a removal spell. In, and then whenever Cavalier of Night dies, we can put like Acclaimed Contender, Midnight Reaper back into play. And of course, the Circle of Loyalty, the round table for the Knights, does a lot of stuff. All right, so that's our deck. We're, it's a donation deck, so we're going to... Um, we're going to go ahead and play it through a league. So we do with our donation deck, so we're going to go to Traditional Standard. And we're going to play it and see if we can get to five wins before two losses. See what happens first. All right, here we go. Yeah, what could you use to replace Robber of the Rich in the red deck? Um, does anybody in chat have any suggestions there? I would recommend... Okay, on, on the right-hand side of that link that I just sent, Ludman... On the right-hand side, there's a whole lot of mono-red aggro lists. And so maybe kind of click through those, and you can kind of, you know, piece together. Uh, that that was the list right there, Storm. Storm's our resident mono-red player, so Storm could also have, like, a, a list that's a little easier on your wild cards for you also as a, as a newer player. Uh, let's see. Overgrown tomb. Do pop dot 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 do pop. I don't know how that song goes. <laughs> All right. Rule of law with folio of fancies. All right, that looks pretty cool there, QQ. Perfect. All right, thanks for the link there, QQ. I'll, we'll, I'll be taking a look at that tomorrow. I may change something. I also may not change something. We'll see. Anything can happen. Down, 
So I, I kind of want to contender this turn. Hmm. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, I'm going to go Midnight Reaper. So my best mana use is Worthy Knight, then Legion's End. There's not particularly anything to Legion's End, though. I'm going to just pass and hold up Murderous Rider, because these decks usually play Questing Beasts. I would like white mana. Darn, that didn't work. Mm. Almost white mana. Die behind the wheel. Got a name for the winners in the world. I want a name when I leave. Why are people playing Goldilocks? There's, there's a decent amount of artifacts and enchantments running around these days. I mean, do I need to murder? Ugh. I need to just hold up Murderous Rider and do nothing else. I could Legion's End tokens. That's a that's a feels bad. I hope my opponent's not playing March of the Multitudes. Yeah, that's what that's what I was thinking, Borderland Ranger. I know a lot of the green white players are moving away from March of the Multitudes, but looks like our opponent here has it. Well that was convenient. They didn't wait to play that as an instant. So now we can and this legion. I was kind of I was expecting like an, an elephant if they were doing that then. My poor opponent. March is an instant. Wait wait till my end step to cast it. Do pop. Oh, there's some grizzly bears. My opponent's barely trying to hold on here. Or they're barely hanging in there. All right, going infinite.
What? He said that pun was unbearable. Oh come on! I thought that was a barely good, a barely good pun. Fairly good pun. A barely good pun. All right. <clears throat> and our creatures said good night to our opponents. So Noxious Grasp kills all their stuff. We'd have our own Tristani for <laughs> Don't let chat bear rate you. <laughs> I I love Rose Ions uh, in the draw discard decks. Oh, but just just the decks in general. Um, I think they're 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 certainly uh, good enough to to see play. Um, you know, Narset is is a problem. You got to have a lot of fries in your sideboard. I I played. Uh, one of those, I played a deck with that the other day, and I didn't have enough fries in my sideboard at all. And that's what that's what my sideboard was missing. So make make sure you have enough fries. Um, you know, got got to have, you know, probably like a, a large side of fries, not like a medium or a small, so you can make sure to take out Narset. All right, let's give this a try. Yeah, if you want to see the, the previous decks played, if you wanted to see the deck lists, you can f find them there on Stream Decker. If you want to, you know, see the videos, you know, if you want to see them played, you can, you know, go to the YouTube channel for that. Uh, as far as like the the Walker's deck, it's it's about another half hour. Or so with it. You're welcome, Coder. <laughs> McDonald's forgot my fries this week. I barely made it through the week. Wow, is that alarm? <laughs> yeah, the the MCs are the um, the metagame challenge. Yeah, the metagame challenge. They're in the title of the stream, so we're doing metagame challenge for two decks. To, we have two donation decks as well. Yeah, finality could be a good draw for us for going wide. I cut the two three ones um, with them just being one toughness. Could get tripped up by tokens pretty easily. Yep, yep, we got seven wins. We got 30 packs. Hopefully... At least, hopefully, Dupop learned if they disconnected. Hopefully, they learned to. Hopefully, the Legion's End taught them to wait until end step with March of the Multitudes. Are there any uh, blue and white decks that anyone's playing right now? Actually, yeah, we played we played in Azorius Control. If you like Azorius Control, uh, check that out over on the YouTube channel. We played that like two days ago and did really well with it. Uh, we went 5-0 with the Azorius Control. Check that one out. Um, yeah, that was it was like a three-hour league for the five-match wins. <laughs> you know, good old... Good old hard control. Yeah, 
Yeah, so look for like two days ago as Ori's control. Okay, new match. Gotta win. No, there's not any hard counter to Golos decks. Um, Ashiok's one of the best things if you can get Ashiok down on turn three. On Mordigo. Can take Field of the Dead out of their deck, but there, there's nothing that's like a hard counter. That's what makes the Golos deck so good. Alright, we got this Temple of Scrylance for white mana. We'll be leading off with that. <laughs> Goblin Banneret probably means Cavalcade. Wouldn't you say any fast early game rush decks beat Golos? Because they can't seem to stand against that. I mean, not necessarily. You have to have a pretty good hand in everything there also. Like, they, you know, they can still have, you know, like, turn three sweepers if they have, like, their good hand. And, you know, a Boreal Grazer is just a really good blocker. So it's, it's kind of about, like, how many Boreal Grazers they have and all that kind of stuff. So I could shock in to have Knight and Black Lance Paragon. Hmm. I'll just play the acclaimed contender. Man, these acclaimed contenders just always go infinite. And then hopefully we get to lifelink a contender next turn when it's attacking. Okay. Uh, yeah, Gar, if you're having trouble with, like, a spell on the stack, there's a right arrow, like, uh, right above the spell. If you, you can click the right arrow to move the spell that's on the stack to be able to target, like, the Planeswalkers. So, yeah, that's, that's what you can do there. They got a shock beforehand. Shock before blocks. New motto, shock before block. New t-shirt. I didn't play the Temple of Malady because I wanted the extra white source in play. Because I thought a claim contender could get another white knight. And even here, like you know, because we have the So yeah, I really want another white mana source in. Two five. 
Okay, game one. Helps the, helped us that they were stuck on two lands for sure. All right, Knight of Autumn, Tristani. Trophy. Feel like we probably don't want Midnight Reaper. And I mean, Circle of Loyalty was going to finish that out, but it's not. I think like the games that we lose, Circle of Loyalty is going to be a dead card in our hand. Um, I feel like I could maybe take out one of these fine finalities. Dress isn't bad per se. But I, I don't really want Duress over like these other cards that we have in the deck. So I'm going to just keep these in. I mean, I could play Duress over this other find. So I could play like one Duress. I feel like fine's going to be better. You know, if you... <clears throat> like, they empty their hand really fast. If you don't have Duress immediately, like, Duress is going to be a dead draw. Um, you know, like, we saw, like, one spell with a shock. That was it. I mean, obviously, they could have Cavalcade, but we have answers for Cavalcade. I think it's good just to keep playing to the board. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to play to the board. Well, kind of slow, but we have, we have two draw steps to draw a two-drop, like our chances. And I, I like this mana of like you know coming to play untapped, not dealing us damage. Then obviously we have life link, life link, life link. I would certainly prefer this hand on the play than on the draw, but here we are. <laughs> Dread Horde Butcher has some sweet art. I like it. All right, well, I guess we got to have this Spitfire meet a swift end, even though that's going to cost us two life. Gave them a chance to just like, you know, use a shock at us. <clears throat> Unfortunately, whenever Murderous Rider dies, it, you know, gets tucked. It doesn't go to the graveyard where we can bring it back with Soren. But we're not in a bad spot. You know, we're still at 15. About to be dropping Cavaliers. Doesn't look so bad. There you go. Awesome, Baloney Pony. Did you did you use the Ayara Citadel list that I just put up today, or did you use like the a list from before? What's your Citadel list looking like? Okay, today's list? Cool. The MC is the metagame challenge.
Hey Rex, good afternoon. <laughs> nice. Got to sack 10 permanents to Citadel. Deal 10. Yeah, I mean that's what the the metagame challenge is. That's that's as many as you can that's as many as you can win. Is just 10. You can't win any more. Or sorry, 7. You can't win any more than 7. So we won 30 30 booster packs. That's a rough life. Using all the resources to get me down to 16. My hand was just awesome. Poor opponent, didn't have a chance. All right, update record, two and oh. We had, you know, we had everything covered. We had Knight of Autumn blowing up that Catvolcade. Everything covered. <laughs> nope, didn't kill us quickly enough. Do you like the new camera frame? I got I got that today. It's like a it's a Vivian themed frame. You see the frame? Oh, I, I should do. I should redo this poll. We got a lot more people in here. I was talking about I was going to do this poll three times. Once I did it at the beginning of the stream, we're going to do it here in the middle, and we'll do one towards the end of the stream. Y'all remind me at the end of the stream to redo the poll. But uh, so the poll is about the size of the webcam. It's uh, right now. It is smaller than what I had it previously, so I can in, in I can go back and increase the size of the webcam again. Let's see. Hmm. All these cards are pretty good. All right. So right now, with with it having the smaller webcam size, you can see you can see the number of cards in the opponent's library. How I had it before, um, that just that number right there was blocked because this went over a little bit. So that that's the only difference as far as that. But you know, if y'all ask how many cards are in library, I you know I just tell you also. So that's that's the difference there. So, y'all vote either big or small. Do you want, would you rather, did you like the, the bigger camera from before? Or would you rather have the smaller camera like it is right now? Okay. So, the poll started. Either write the word big or small after where it said poll started. I don't want to go top left because putting in the top left takes out valuable information of like, if my opponent wins a game, you know, it has like the game mark here, you know, whenever you win games, so we can't really put it top left. So I'm I'm gonna be keeping it in this corner. It's just do you want it just made if you do do you want the camera just a little bit bigger like we like we've had it for the last year? Or do you like this smaller camera? I led with the temple as Silence so that we could play Worthy Knight on two. Now we can go Worthy into Ebon Legion this next turn. I, I mean, I, I like where the cam is situated. I like it up there. All right, looks like Big won the poll there. Big won the poll last time also, so looks like we're going to be going Big or going home.
All right, so I'll, I'll have to adjust that tomorrow. Of course, we I won't cover up, you know, so it won't it won't cover up the graveyard, so it'll just be a little bit bigger. So this looks kind of similar to uh, your rock field decks with having Risen Reef in it. They can't activate Golos yet, so I could just play Soren first before playing Murderous Rider. Or I could play Murderous Rider and Temple. I was thinking, I was also thinking, like, I could shock and then Murderous Rider, like, during my turn, and then I lose four life, and then Night grows. Yeah, Risen Reef, new Elvish Rejuvenator. Awesome. Way to go. Uh, Umabi, your 6 0 in the metagame challenge with my Simic Ramp deck. Awesome. Good job. All right, well, I definitely need to kill Golos this turn. Heal the Dead's really good. No, cards are not unlocked for the metagame challenge. That was like a one a one time thing for that other event. I don't know how we're winning this now. <laughs> Guide to deck building. Step one, pick three colors. Step two, include all mythics from said colors. Step three, win all matches. <laughs> it's a pretty good guide there. There's a crisis gone, that's good.
I mean, this is this is all just kind of garbage time. We don't think we have any chance. So with my opponent having Soren, it's actually good for like these creatures to die because Soren can bring them back. All right, I'm gonna move to the next game. Man, it's already seven o'clock. I guess the metagame challenge took a little while. All right, KY, what what do you like doing here in this matchup? I'm assuming Ashiok Trophy, Tristani Spyglass, Veil because of Agent. What are you taking out? Yeah, they cer they're certainly playing sweepers. They have like Risen Reef. I mean, I don't know, maybe not. They have like Yeah, I guess we'll just take out the Planeswalkers. Those are very good targets for Agent, for sure, but they're not necessarily the most impactful for us. And take out, I guess, the worst creature for this matchup is maybe the Wintermore Ca Cavalier. All right, we'll try having turn three Ashiok. It's not Hero Precinct 1. Ashiok does not trigger Worthy Knight. Acclaimed Contender does need another Knight in play, so that really hurts. That Legion's End really hurts Acclaimed Contender. Because the, the trigger you only only triggers if you control another knight. So we got one Golos out of here.
I'm not going to let them, you know, like we play Murderous Rider, they kill Murderous Rider and get to attack Ashiok. I don't want that to happen. Healer of the Glade and Cavalier of Thorns. So they look pretty Sultai based. More Sultai based than what they had than, than what they looked last game. All right, two field, the dead's gone. Two fields and a crisis, that was a good mill. All spells in hand. Could definitely punish me if they got another another elemental here. How many cards would wizards have to ban for there to be no complaints anymore? I, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's possible just kind of as like, you know, just for like people to, for there to be like no complaints with people. What? Well, there's Field of the Dead three and four. They're running out of cards, though. They're down to 25. So I could exile another four cards and put them down to 20. But then they get to Golos to grab another land, get two more zombies. It's always like you need the second Ashiok. Like, the first Ashiok gets rid of, like, 
you know, gets them down to like 30, 40, like, you know, 20 to 30 cards. He gets rid of like 30 to 40 cards, like total, like, you know, with all like, you know, all the stuff they do to get cards out of their deck and everything. It's like you, you need to like be able to like minus this, get rid of it and play a second Ashiok to, to really get rid of the cards. Well, they only have, they don't have mana for deputy right now. They don't have white mana. Yeah, the finality's good. And they got us. These deputies. So we need to be able to minus Ashiok and then play a new Ashiok and minus again. That would have gotten another eight cards. They would only have 12 cards left. They would not have been able to kill that other Ashiok. And then eight, like... Like, honestly, if we had a second Ashiok, we would have won this game, but we did not. That and they, you know, obviously them hitting the two Field of the Deads <laughs> off the Risen Reef that one turn. That was insane. So that's what Risen Reef's designed to do. I could have killed Risen Reef. I didn't. We need to draw Finality ourselves. Um, I've been playing MTG for about close to 10 years now. That Field of the Dead card's pretty good. I don't know if y'all have seen that card before. That one's pretty good. Watch out for that one. So yeah, that's 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 the deck that you really struggle with with this one already. Yeah, it's pretty tough. You know, we're playing a bunch of two mana creatures. We're slow. They, you know, they just ramp so good. And then, you know, they just start putting in two mana or two power. Sorry. We get a bunch of like two power creatures, but they just put it a bunch of two power creatures for free. Can't. You can't really stop anybody from just ramping. You're playing like these creatures. You can't stop somebody else from ramping. So yeah, that's tough. So Legion's End could be good. You know, like this could be like a feather type deck, Temple of Triumph. It also could just be like a Jeskai control. I think it's kind of likely it's Jeskai control these days. And so I'm going to go bottom. <laughs> no. Uh, Scryland. Why why have you done this, Skyland? Well the yeah, the ramp cards that we have in, in standard are are much are much more powerful than what we've normally ever had. Like there's just so like 
Growth Spiral is just insanely good. Like, we haven't had a card as good as Growth Spiral in, you know, six, seven, eight years, at least. Like, Growth Spiral is insanely good. And then Circuitous Route also. Like, usually, like, Circuitous Route, like, some formats have a card like Circuitous Route that's, like, the most, like, that's just really powerful ramp card like that. Like, that's that's pretty rare. Not all formats have a card like that. But it's just kind of, so you have that card, and then you also have Growth Spiral. Then you also have a Boreal Grazer, which is really powerful when you want to just play tons of lands. It's just kind of a, like, this is, like, for those of you that are kind of newer to Magic, this is this is not a nor normality having this good of ramp. Like, I think this is the best ramp. Like I said, I've been playing for about 10 years. This is the best the ramp's ever been in Standard, like, the ramp cards together. Like, the only other time it was close to this was whenever primeval titan was in standard with rampant growth and growth spiral and or not growth spiral but uh growth something else whatever the, the three mana card was that made no one that was the only time it was close to this Cultivate. I was thinking about the one that makes the Scion, the Eldrazi Scion. Or if, if those are Eldrazi Scions, whatever. I guess maybe not Scion, whatever the other thing was. But yeah. But yeah, it had Explore, Cultivate, Growth Spasm. There you go. Yeah, that one. That's what I was thinking of that one. That's the only other time that Ramp has been this good. And, and I'm not even sure if it was if that was better than what we have right now, honestly, with Grazer. And growth spiral. And circuitous route. Yeah, circuitous route fetching up dual lands. Re very powerful. Anyway, next turn, play Soren and then attack out. Get all this lifelink. Basically, my question is, do I want to... I mean, I can minus two, bring back the Worthy Knight, but then the Soren dies. I don't think we want to just kill the Soren. You know, this attack is good. It's not. Come back. Come back. All these black spells on the bottom that I need. I need all those spells. Come back. I 
I need these ones. I'll take any of those. No, I don't, I don't think we have any shuffle. We have like acclaimed contenders that can dig pretty quickly through the library. Obviously, I can activate this castle this next turn. Well, if they have another spell left, we're in a lot of trouble. They have a spell, pumps, legionnaire. Down, 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 down. Three, four, five, six. More knights. Hopefully draw a black white knight here. Or a legion then. I don't die in the air. I'm, I'm at 15. Yeah, like, we're good. See, so yeah, I could... See, finality, put the counters on the, the Knight of the Ebon Legion... Yeah, that's why I didn't. Um, so I didn't block like a lot, like a lot of these other one ones. So I could just, because I just gained the light instead of trading off the one ones. I would just gain the life back with Soren. Might as well just take the damage and gain the life back. Challenger takes four mana to activate.
Yeah, they got a block, otherwise that would have been lethal. Flame Contender's going infinite. All right, finality. <laughs> Pulled off mass manipulation for eight earlier today. Ugh, that's so gross. So grasp, trophy. I think I like duress. Let's try to take God's willing. Yeah, Tristani's probably worth it. Have our 1-1s be bigger than their 1-1s with Tristani. I don't know really what to take out, though. Everything, everything kind of does stuff for us. Yeah, we could take out Blacklands Wintermore. You know, definitely makes Worthy Night worse. Could take out Soren. Would that be able to fly over and attack Soren? Golgari Queen, you know, gets to kill something first. Like, if we take out those, we probably have to take out Circle. All right, no Circle. Got to tweak the sideboard more. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind another Legion's Ender too. Like, it does kind of feel like the deck needs lots of Legion's Ends. Against Field of the Dead. Really need to hit land drops. Really wanted to work towards finality. Gross. And, you know, Tristani and finality and stuff like that. Yay, tap land. Not dead yet. Almost dead. Almost dead, but not dead yet.
<laughs> Eight Golos decks in a row for you? Yeah. That's rough. Need to make... Need to make an... Need to make a mill deck. Like, you know, with four Ashiok main. Need a four Ashiok main mill deck. <laughs> you had you played against Golos nine times in a row in the play queue yesterday. Wow. No, I like Duress here. There, yeah, you're playing Esper Mill with four Ashiok. Nice. I know. Just need we need four Ashiok. We need four Spark Double, so we can have eight Ashiok. <laughs> hmm. Why would you take out the Paragons? Because there's a whole lot of 1-1 creatures. And so the Paragons are likely going to be trading down. Okay, your 10-1 versus goal is with Teamer Invention. Nice. Yeah, we went 7 0 with the Teamer Walkers. Um, wasn't really easy, but yeah, it was it was really strong, you know, just playing turn two Oko a bunch. Turn two Oko. It's difficult to beat. You don't have Vigilance, do you? I don't think so. I don't want that. Like, they have a lot of haste creatures. And I don't want them to be able to just... I attack for three, but then they get to kill my Braska for free. It's not very good tapping. I wanted a black source left. <laughs> oh, that was not very good tapping. That was really not very good tapping. Hey, Kurtash. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you.
Ah, they had Tajik. All right, so don't have to really worry about Aurelia. I mean, well, we do, but we'll just kill that thing. I'm not going to let them shock this Knight of the Ebon Legion again. <laughs> what do we have to draw next? I'm trying to learn to properly top deck. Um, I guess Tristani. That's what we hope to draw next is the, the one Tristani in the deck. Hey, Agnar. That was a pretty good draw. I don't know what I want to do with it, though. I mean, I guess we... I could have attacked with the the claim contenders. This thing these things don't have first strike right now. Okay, well, it's attack time. Tough blocks for my opponent, of course. We'll go back up to 16 with Cavalier of Knight. This game looks pretty in hand for us. Down, 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 down. Hey, JMC. Thank you so much for the resub there, JMC. I appreciate that. I I trimmed the circle uh, basic, basically because we took out seven knights from the deck. And so I thought that maybe we wouldn't have as many knights to be able to make the circle cheaper. And so that's why we took out a circle. Thanks, glad you like the frame. We move that up just a little bit. There we go. Alright, GG's Agnar. GG's. Alright, we'll update our record. We are three and one.
<clears throat> what do you what do you mean, Monty? As far as I know, Stream Decker is working, but their website I know can really struggle with loading. Okay, nice looking hand here. Get to go with Commander before Contender so that our our Contender triggers. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, yeah, I'll switch, I'll, I'll have to change the cam settings tomorrow to update to increase the size of the camera, go back to like about where we had it before. So I'll, I'll do that before the stream tomorrow. We are playing donation decks through the event, not the not the metagame challenge event, but the but the regular event where we get to play f until we win five or lose two. Wanted to be too good of a donation deck if that you know just lose one, you're done. Let's say. Thanks for playing. Better luck next time. Blacklands Paragon isn't isn't as valuable when your opponent knows it's coming and they can play around it. Temer. Yeah, I think the Teamer Walker's deck's a pretty safe craft. It's, um, you know, it's just a, a pile of really good Planeswalkers. I feel like those are going to be good for a while. Just, you know, a bunch of really good Planeswalkers. Like, it doesn't... Um, I don't think there's going to be something that's going to make those cards not good. I guess that's what I mean. So I'm playing the knight first to be able to pump up the toughness of the Wintermore commander. I can still play the Paragon at end step and have the commander make it indestructible. So yeah, Commander making the Paragon indestructible is pretty nice. Attacking in here. Counting on me, he's the counter on you.
I guess I attack again. I'm glad they're making this. Um, I'm glad they're making this block. And not... Well, that... That just puts him dead. Not putting the 3-3 in front of the knight that makes that forces me to activate knight. To put the 3-3 in front of the knight, then I have to like spend my mana activating knight to keep it around if I want to. And that would have been annoying. All right, so we got the Spyglass for Oko. We don't really see anything else in their deck, you know, just Oko, Tybalt, and Paradise Druid. That's kind of a, a weird combination of cards. I'm gonna cut Find Finality, I'm gonna cut Legion's End, we're gonna play the Noxious Grasps, a trophy. And that's uh, sixty. May play duress instead of cavalier of night. All right. Yeah, it looks like a, a Walker's deck, but I mean, not not all Walker's decks play Krasis. Keep. Maybe we're supposed to take out Paragon because of Tybalt. <laughs> Thanks, Rex. Wicked Wolf. Okay. I wouldn't mind more black mana, but I don't really want to keep land number five on top. So we keep five, land number five on top. We're probably drawing land number six, land number seven, you know, fairly soon. So I'll just put it down to the bottom, even though I wouldn't necessarily mind that land. Because I don't really want to draw land number six or land number seven. MC is the metagame challenge. Yeah, main character. Master of ceremonies. Mythic Championship. Mind Control. That's a good MC. I guess I probably should not have just played the Worthy Knight because you know, they could just play the Wicked Wolf the next turn. Maybe I shouldn't have played the Worthy Knight out there. Just play my play my land pass. So even good. They have the Gilded Goose. It's just going to make... See, isn't even a good block. Uh, just the one time. 
the seven O's. We we played it twice yesterday. I guess really technically like once because one time we got disconnected. So we played it like no, I guess it was twice. Yes, yeah. So still we played it twice yesterday and didn't do too well. But then played it the one time with the teamer deck there. Bleh. Yeah, Liliana Lasso, that's a good one. I <clears throat> I did not underrate the Liliana Last Hope. In my set review for that set, I had Liliana the Last Hope as the second best card in the set, just to Emrakul. Believe I had a number two. <clears throat> I might have had a number three in Eldritch Moon. But yeah, I, I was all in on that card. For sure. Oh, well, I definitely could have played this game better. This is not my not my best played game of the night. Not my best played game at all. So yeah, I could kill Sarkin, but that 4-4 is still going to be doing 4 damage to us a turn. By killing the 4-4, it makes them block with the goose. So it's basically kill Sarkin or kill like the 4-4 and the goose, and the Sarkin, you know, is just kind of like the 4-4 anyway, except for the Sarkin can't block. Hey, Grim Intent, I'm doing well. Matches are going very well today. All right, so they're they're the more popular teamer deck. They just have Tybalt in there. I'm guessing they just have a Tybalt over like a Royal Scions that they didn't want to craft. Get those back in. Maybe get those back in. I think I want to take Soren's out. Soren's Midnight Reaper. All right, here we go. The metagame challenge is one loss and you're dead. That's the decks that say MC. Those are what we're playing the metagame challenge. Donation decks, we play through the traditional constructed league. Where you can where you play till you win five or lose two. How do you deal with infinite zombies? I mean you don't really deal with infinite zombies. Nobody really deals with that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. My, my opponent could, could have cast that once upon a time. 
chose not to. I am allowing that, like, they, they do get to Bone Crusher Giant, kill the knight. Nope. Land? Ugh. I was, I was hoping to be able to play the knight, them do that, and then I got to slam contender. That's what I was hoping, to be able to get the card draw with contender. I guess they got another Veil of Summer. I don't really know how I'm going to deal with this Questing Beast. Through another Veil of Summer, we'll figure it out, though. <clears throat> I mean, obviously, like that was my, my plan. They play Questing Beast, I block. But I'm still going to do that, so good. We get to draw more cards. All right, going infinite. <clears throat> Need to keep drawing lands. So we can get rid of the cards in hand. It's an above average card. Each one of these trades deals six damage to me. <laughs> yeah, whatever you do, don't cast the black spell. <laughs> what? What? Auto tap? What are you? What are you doing? Auto tap? Let's see. Spells in hand. G G G. All right. Let's let's leave the blue red land untapped. <laughs> what are you doing? Auto tap. Let's tap all the green. What do they need? All green? Well, looks like that's what we're tapping, all green. Gary the Snail with the Twitch Prime sub. Y'all show some love for our new sub. Thank you so much there, Gary. You, you are a rock star. Thank you. Yep, got, yep, got to play the white spell so they don't get to trigger. Those are... The bottom five cards of our library that we got to see. Don't let them cycle Veil of Summer. All 
All right, I guess I kind of have to cast a black spell and let them cycle. Down to four. Of course, we grabbed the two white knights, so we don't have to let them have Veil of Summer again. I don't think they're going to play Sweeper. <laughs> Abzan Knights 4 1. And <laughs> they looking at that Spyglass. They draw Oko, say oh no. Yeah, a list for Teamer Walkers right there. You can find it in the Stream Decker page. Properties. Four and one. Yeah, they, they had three quest DBs, but that's all they kind of had. They didn't really have anything after that. Oh, it's final boss time. It is final boss time. Let's get these final boss emotes. Four one, final boss. If y'all are a sub, get those final boss emotes in the chat. Yeah, we lost to Golos, but besides that, we've taken everything else down. Gonna need a little bit of land. But not a bad start. I've been Legion on one. Yeah, so then yeah, so we're gonna have Simic Flash up next and then another challenge run, but um We'll we'll see if we have time or not. It's already getting kinda late. Usually I stream from three to ten Eastern. The first challenge run with seven matches took a long time, of course. So we'll kind of see. <laughs> Do the challenge with the blue-white control list. A little seven hour stream play one deck <laughs> Crixus no land Would have, would have been a nice time for a land. <laughs> the devil, that thing. <laughs> They're like, whoops. Made 
they let me get make the Knight of the Ebon Legion indestructible. Taking Midnight Rider. Don't care that we have removal spells, I suppose. Yeah, tomorrow, of course, is going to be an early stream. It's Sunday. We're going to do, like, our, our Sunday matinee stream. So we're going to be going from 1 to 8. And so even if I go a little later on, like, tomorrow, um, it's, it's easier to go a little later tomorrow for that, too. So, you know, doing doing the earlier streams on Sundays for those of y'all in the European crowd make it a little, a little earlier and... Something we've done a little bit recently. Yeah, so it's definitely Fires of Invention with them playing Drawn from Dreams. I actually liked season eight. I guess I'm in the minor minority there. I mean, obviously they, you know, because they had to fit so many, so much stuff into season eight. I, you know, I won't spoil anything, but they, you know, like the season was was very fast paced. But I, I really liked some of the episodes. I thought that the. You know, episode three, I guess, like the, the the large battle. You know, again, I'm not gonna really give anything away, but the large battle in like episode three, I thought that was really well done. I thought that was like you know just enthralling television. Just the soundtrack, I really like the soundtrack was awesome. This one's not close to being over, even though they're at four. We're a ways away from finishing the game off. And they have time to start dropping planeswalkers like it's nothing. What? What happened there? What happened there? Was that just lag? That what happened? Thought I clicked it and I started to move my mouse over here to target Nicol Bolas, but then it just played it the other way. That must have been like some lag or something. I don't. I don't know what happened. Cause yeah, I, I you know I thought I clicked Swift End. Started moving the cursor to start targeting the bolus, but I guess 
the click was just delayed, and so I moved my cursor, and so then it, it said that I clicked the other thing, I guess. I didn't click twice. It's unfortunate. We were still, we were in a pretty tough spot anyway, though, with them, you know, dropping planeswalkers and everything. So the thing I don't love about Spyglass is they have Bedevil. It's the thing I don't love about Spyglass for this matchup. Legion's End's obviously out. It's our worst card. I think we're going with this. Cavalier of Knight's not spectacular either, but they do have to kill Cavalier of Knight, then he can get something back. I think it's worth it, but you know we're not really killing creatures with it. Hey, good job, Iced. Yeah, send. Yeah, I send me your updated list. I'll check it out. Am I going shock, shock? Blue mana. I'd really like to draw a knight before I play contender, of course. Hopefully we do that. Dang, they didn't let me name Fabled Passage. Yeah, that's... Yep, that's what I think happened. I, I clicked the left one, and but I, I was moving my cursor to to the right to go towards Nicol Bolas, and it registered a little late, and it registered as the the other one. It's unfortunate we didn't find another knight. I can't just you know not play anything. Also. I doubt they're playing two basic mountains. Balding Yeti. Thanks for the sub there, Balding Yeti. I appreciate that. Um, this 
Sub number 19, one away from our next sub goal. Yeah, unfortunately, they had more red mana. Yeah, I mean, we really need a claim contender to hit, to hit. You know, like we need we need to be able to play another knight and then a claim contender. You know, mulligans kept just a few lands, put like this, you know, this cavalier down to the bottom. But then we've just kind of drawn more lands. We couldn't draw another knight. Unfortunately, but yep, drawn from dreams is tough. There are two Sorens in here, but oh, come on. We're not drawing them. One got milled over. Came close to shutting down their red cards. They found another red source. Okay. All right, did not defeat the final boss there. So yeah, like it it's definitely seemed like our late game struggled. Like that we didn't have too powerful of a late game. And so, like, you know, Field of the Dead and, you know, Field of the Dead, Golos, and Grixis Control, like, the decks that have really strong late games just outgrinded us. I'd have to say that the Vraska was not really a card that was impressive at all. Um... And even Circle of Loyalty, you know, I don't know. We never drew Circle of Loyalty, but I, I do think that Garrick could be just a lot stronger like than Vraska, because we talked about before, maybe take out a Vraska for a Garrick. I, I would definitely do that. Garrick is just such a strong card. Um, I, I like Garrick a lot. And... I wouldn't mind like Garrick over Tristani. Like I don't think I don't think Tristani is is all that great with with so many sweepers running around these days. Garrick is just really good. So maybe you could get a couple of Garricks in here. Cuz we do like you know we're a 25 land deck. Um the other thing is maybe more Midnight Reaper. Yeah, like Midnight Reaper. Whoops. This one got deleted from a delayed click there. There we go. Midnight Reaper is another card that allows us to go long, but but Midnight Reaper is not so great against Field of the Dead. I mean, it does does turn their sweepers, does help against their sweepers. Um, yeah, Cavalier was fine. Like Cavalier really helped against Aggro for sure. But six is not too difficult to catch. You know, having one six drop, you know, another in the board, that's not too difficult with 25 lands. Um, I think that's that's realistic. Obviously, you don't want very many. But, you know, like one in the main, one in the board, I think that's realistic. 
I think it's going to be more impactful than what Frasca was and than what Tristani would be. I don't know exactly what this deck's supposed to do against Field of the Dead, besides Ashiok. I don't really know what, what the deck's plan should really be against Field of the Dead. You probably need more Legion's Ends. Like, I think like you probably need more ways to, to clear out those things, like, clear those out. I could see instead of duress playing drill bit, where drill bit, you know, especially against field of the dead, they don't, you know, they don't really have removal for these early things. Maybe you can hit them with like early creatures, and then drill bit can take golos and agent of treachery, and you know, or if they have, you know, circuit, you know, drill bit takes everything. I feel like maybe this, this, maybe you could play this instead of duress, and it can take golos and. And everything. Because obviously, like, Golos is just such a huge problem. It's just a really big blocker, and it goes and grabs Field of the Dead. So that, that could just be an upgrade there. Yeah, Unbreakable Formation, maybe? I don't know. We need to have a, a good amount of creatures still. I think I think Drill Bit is, is at its best of what it's been right now. It's too slow for Oko, but we have we have removal for Oko with four Murderous Rider, a couple Noxious Grasp. Honestly, it felt like the Spyglass was kind of overkill. Like we like between Rider and, and Grasp, I don't think that this deck needs Spyglass, honestly. Yeah, I, I would take out the Spyglass. Maybe even just play another trophy. Like, trophy Trophy and Legion's Ends, like those two are good against field. You know, destroy field. And that you know, trophy can kill an Oko, even though it's not great, but Yeah, I like that. I want a third Legion's end in here, but I don't know exactly where. I don't think we really missed not having the one drop white knight. The the Wintermore commander was awesome. The paragon was good. <clears throat> the card that I'm the most iffy about in the main deck is the circle of loyalty. I could see this being like another legion's end. I'm pretty iffy on this card. Or or I could see I can see moving one Knight of Autumn to the main deck, not playing the Circle of Loyalty, and then having a Legion's End in the sideboard. I like that. I like that. So there we go. There's there's a couple of changes that that I think could could help out. To get some some cards that weren't quite it, weren't too impactful. Rotocon, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub there. I appreciate that Rotocon. Thank you so much. Um wow. Hey, that gets us to our second sub goal of the day. All right, I'm going to mark that down here in a little bit. Finishing up this deck. Well, Commander was pretty good. I liked Commander. But Paragon looked pretty good also. You know, like Paragon trading with Questing Beast and everything. I don't know if like 4 and 2 is the right split here. I could definitely see just going 3 and 3. Add in an, an extra Paragon, take out a Commander. I don't think that Commander is like that much better. Especially, you know, like Paragon's also easier to cast. So like that's a that's a real thing too. I think I'd want to just kind of even those up. Three and three. There. Yeah, four two is awesome. Yeah, four two. Great record. So um, you know, good showing here from the Abzan Knights. 
Okay, so if you're watching the video later on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there and also leave some comments. You know, I always like seeing the comments over there on YouTube as well. Um, do I think Gideon could help? Yes, yes, yeah, good. Gideon could help. I don't know exactly where or how to fit in Gideon, but yeah, Gideon's a good card. Um, Gideon would help against uh, sweeper heavy decks. Um, I'm not exactly sure if the green's worth it. Not exactly sure there. Maybe not. The green cards are pretty good, though. It's pretty easy to, to splash. It wasn't too difficult on the mana. And the green cards are pretty powerful. Yeah, I, I definitely like playing the Garricks. Garricks are really strong. And I, I like a second, you know, I like these changes. I like I like the Garricks. I think they're a lot stronger than some of those other top-end cards that we had. I like another Assassin's Trophy. I like Drill Bit over Duress right now. I think that... I think, because, like, Drill Bit against Simic... Like, also just against Simic Flash, Drill Bit is just so much more impactful being able to take, you know, Ambushers and uh, Frilled Mystics and everything like that. And yeah, Knight of Autumns are strong. I, I kind of want more Knight of Autumns and more Midnight Reapers, but we can't just have infinite threes. But anyway, there we go. That's the deck. That's Abzan Knights. So again, uh, thank you so much for watching, uh, especially y'all on YouTube. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.